Xbox Meme Review! No! God! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Roblox Meme Review, your number one favorite show for all your favorite Roblox memes! Before we begin, don't forget, you can get a $10 Roblox gift card just by posting a meme, r slash Bloxy Memes, go do it! And let's just get right into it! First meme! The most peaceful day on Roblox Twitter versus the most violent day on r slash roblox this is beautiful the r slash roblox subreddit is a place for distinguished individuals uh, they, you can practically imagine them sitting there sipping tea the little monocles and top hats and you get roblox twitter and that is a literal like dumpster fire it is terrible i every time i go on roblox twitter i see someone having the absolute worst take in the world like i think roblox should turn into claw penguin and all be conglomerated onto one single game and i'm just like, get out of here, nerd. Go play Super Dumpster Fire XXX. We don't want you over here in Roblox. Naming your child after a fictional character. Hey there, Khaleesi. How is school? I hate you with every ounce of my being. Naming your child after your Roblox username. I'm so proud of you, David Foxtail Master X. Yes, my boy, Devon TV. Hello, Devon TV. You go enjoy school today. Ah, little Gemma, cute angel unicorn slayer 44. Ah, yeah, good luck in math. Getting bullied? Hey, that's what Elon Musk is doing. He's like 10 steps ahead of us already. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I don't want to see this face, but I keep seeing it. Me about to tell my mom I peed the bed. Uh -oh. Well, I mean, that Roblox avatar kind of looks like he peed on a bit more than the bed. He just peed all over himself. It just exploded like a nuclear blast. This Roblox avatar is so disgusting though, but who knows to be fair It might become the next meme in 30 years from now because like the current Roblox avatars Didn't they start off as a meme like oh these are so stupid No one wants to play Roblox for the avatars and now like they're the most popular meme in existence Well, it could be this who knows Roblox PC players have 10 items PC players sweet Mobile players so we get 10 item slots too, right? Roblox, three, take it or leave it. Yeah, anyone who plays mobile, if you're watching me on mobile right now, you guys are a lower tier of society. Roblox doesn't care about you. Roblox only cares about the PC players. They want to prop up the kings of the platform. If you play on mobile, Roblox thinks you're like two years old and you can't manage more than three pathetic little item slots. One for your backpack, two for your island of move, or like, why don't we cap? And three for one more extra little accessory of your choice. I don't know, maybe some corns or maybe the salad hair that all the Adopt Me players wear. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I am with you guys. I'm with you mobile players. Mobile players deserve rights too. They deserve to not be discriminated against in the Roblox community and they shouldn't be forced to look like an ugly loser. Not that you are if you play mobile. I'm just saying Roblox makes it harder to really get your character shining. Good luck, mobile players. Me searches for a shirt on Roblox. The catalog! Hey, wait, 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 the Roblox fixed that, right? They actually fixed it, yeah. I went and looked in the blue for shirts. And look at that, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. Not one shirt is the same. Roblox really kicked over those buckets with that one. And of course, there's a freaking Sans Undertail jacket by Cool Chrome Gamer. That's 258 fans of Sans Undertale. <laughs> yes, this one is so true. Bro gangsters resisting the urge to blast bypassed audio for one minute. Sing along, Patrick! I'm trying, trying so hard. I'm a goofy goober, yeah. You're a goofy goober. <laughs> but replace goofy goober with heckin' swear words and you got yourself a road gangster couple, baby. Oh, I totally forgot to do a video on that. That's what I was remembering. Roblox removed boom boxes, like, from the store, right? They're removing boom boxes because they can't trust you guys to not upload bypassed audio. I'm not speaking to most of you out there. I'm speaking to the little minority of people who find it funny. They have a little chuckle and expanding and minimizing their chest as the air goes in and out of their throat when they upload bypassed audio with swear words everywhere in it. Hey, my daughter listens to that, my two-year-old daughter, and she comes back to me and then she starts singing those songs. I don't know where I'm going with this. Don't upload bad audio. Too easy. 
Too hard. Too normal. Vibe NYC. New York City. What is up with that? What's up with the too normal one? I haven't even seen the drama for this one. What is it like the most boring obby you've ever seen? That's the only one that I could see for like too normal. I'm talking like your typical like year four obby. The one that like primary school teachers get all the school kids in their class to do is their like first task getting introduced to computers. I'm talking line, line, line. And if you touch the lines, they kill you. So you've got to jump over them. They then checkerboard, jump, 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 and then, oh, what's this? We're really mixing it up today. We got to choose your own path. Oh, and then a little staircase that you climb up, which somehow seems to be the hardest one for a lot of people who don't even know how to just look left or look right. Apparently Roblox to them is walking forward and pressing W and spacebar. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. But uh, I'd like to check out Vibe New York City and see what's up with that. But th those two are definitely so true. Yeah, and Roblox can never do anything right with events. I feel so bad for them. Everyone's always so mad at them. You just, you wait. One day Roblox is gonna come up with a beautiful event no one's gonna complain about. It'll be the Devon Mango event. Me, wins in Funky Friday. Also me, GG, the guy I played against. Fun fact, my dad owns Roblox. And if you prove that you're superior to me in Friday Night Funkin' again, dad's gonna ban you for making me feel bad. That's totally how companies work. That, that's how you get banned off Twitter and Facebook. But at this point, nobody's falling for it. That's the oldest trick in the book. Like, you really gotta think of something new nowadays. Nowadays, it's all about like, ah, oh, I've got the cryptocurrency Bitcoin uh, IP address in your account, and that means that I can shut down your home toilet and make it spray up water at you. Now, that is a scary threat. That's something that I look out for. None of that my dad owns Roblox because that doesn't work because otherwise Otherwise, David Bazuki at this point would probably have like 60,000 children, probably more than Genghis Khan himself. You expect me to believe that theory? That's dumb. David Bazuki can't do anything with Genghis Khan. They're like 2,000 years apart. <sighs> this isn't a meme, but this is most certainly one of my proudest creations. This post is titled The Beginning of Devon. Well, it's the first good video that I did. This was actually my major work assignment well, for the end of high for. school. Like, let's this was the out. biggest thing that I did in high school. High school, the biggest thing I made, the daily life of a superhero. We had to jam pack it with as many effects as we could. It's like those default, like, build to survive the killer games or survival the piggy the killer games, where they use a stupid default treehouse and then they just try and jam pack it with as many items and in game purchases as they can on Roblox. Yeah, that was pretty much this video. And hey, I got a pretty good mark for it. I see those of you in the comments saying it was heckin' cringy. Yeah, I'm looking at you, weird rip. I'd like to see you try and recreate this sick comic transition effect. Yeah. Not even Michael Bay could do something like that in his movies. This is like, this is top tier. That took me like a week of working out to do. You're blocking 40 of 100 users allowed. Well, boys, we did it. Bullying is no more. Yeah, we upped the limit from 40 or something to 100. Woohoo. I've just never even blocked anyone. It's so useless. They could just make a different account to do something to you. Like, that's what I had during my Twitch days. Like, hackers would just, it didn't help at all. And then they only increase it to 100? What? Like, does it take up an entire Roblox server every single person you block? Surely it's just like one number or something, or maybe a string in some Roblox server. They're a multi-billion dollar company, and they have, oh, boohoo, you can only block 100 people. Where, like, big boys like Discord and Facebook and every other company in the world says that you can block as many people as you want. I don't get what Roblox is doing here. Maybe they're like, we'll only help you out a bit, but you got to grow up, young man. You got to grow up into the big boy world. I uh, know, but uh, it's kind of sketchy, Roblox. Oh, this actually annoys me so much. Kids be like, hey, you got any games on your phone? That is every person's nightmare. Whenever they're on public transport or just out in public in general, but especially on planes. Like if you get a little kid sitting next to you, who's like five years old, or something and he doesn't have anything because his mother just made him read a book. I don't know, like the uh, alphabetical dictionary of toys and nuggets. Well, he's going to be looking at you playing Candy Crush on your phone. No, no, you wouldn't be playing can Candy Crush. You'd be playing some big boy game like Roblox or something and he's going to start salivating. He's going to lean over and he's going to practically be touching his nose on your screen and he's, he's going to look back at you and be like, Hi, can I play? 
<laughs> and then you hit him with a pile driver and then you beat him up and knock him out of the plane. No, uh, that's so annoying because then you feel bad if you say no. But yeah, and then if you say yes, you're about to get like every single deadly germ in the world on your phone because you can bet your bucket that kid's picked his nose and picked his butt and then like wiped it against some like germ ridden door handle. But to be fair, at least they won't look like that. Box kilowatt after inventing children. She's rolling in it. Well, hey, that's exactly what's going on with Sparks Kilowatt. Like, it's no unfair play for AJ or Faye and all that. I did the calculations in a previous video. Even if they weren't disadvantaged, Sparks Kilowatt would still be roasting their butts. It just goes to show how many people that enjoy Sparks Kilowatt are on Roblox. Children are generally the demographic that would enjoy Sparks Kilowatt. Hey, just because you voted Sparks Kilowatt, I'm not saying you're a child. I don't care if you're like a 40 year old male with like Sparks Kilowatt printed on your t-shirt and you have little Sparks Kilowatt underwear but I am saying that the, a lot of children is probably why she's winning. Discovering something that doesn't exist. Hey! SCP role plays where you can be an SCP for free. You can be an SCP in those role plays? All the SCP role play games I've played they're all like really dumb AI bots who just like walk into a wall when they're gonna come get you. Like the screaming guy like you look at him, he starts screaming and he's like, he's out for blood. He's angry at you. He starts sprinting, but he's like sprinting in the opposite, opposite direction right into a wall and you can just stand there, slashy dance him like he's a stunned piggy and, and make fun of him. But in these games, you can actually play as an SCP. That sounds cool. But what doesn't sound cool is that it's not free. Uh, I can kind of see why because otherwise the majority of people in that game would be playing the SCP. No one wants to play the loser human. We're playing that in real life right now. Everyone wants to play the big scary monster. I don't want to get scared scared in this roleplay game? No, I, I want to be the scarer. Very true. <laughs> this is good. When you wear your parents' clothes and pretend to be them. Look, Daddy, I'm wearing your absolutely abysmal sense of fashion on me. <laughs> yeah, who puts camo pants with that garbage? I don't even do fashion, and I know that looks pretty bad. But that guy's even got his little dad's wig and everything. I feel like layered clothing is going to be such a big meme in Roblox when it actually gets here. If it, if it looks like that, I, I'm actually kind of worried. Like, I don't want to look like a wacky inflatable tube man when I'm walking around. Hopefully that doesn't apply to the current clothes that we already have. I'm sure it wouldn't because you probably need like a full on 3D model of the clothes. But dang, does that look stupid. Hey, it's like the name down here, Real Silly Kids. Uh, he looks like a real silly kid right there. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, we need to end it with something good, something manly. The average man face enjoyer. Ooh, look at that man. Ooh, the muscular chest. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like and subscribe and also go check out Bloxy Memes. Remember that trade offer. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.